All right. Cook asks, ah, this is Tazy's question. What are your thoughts on Kanye West's recent antics? God, I'm going to alienate people, right? Because I know so many of you love Kanye West, right? He's this amazing, brilliant artist. So let me start by saying I never got it. I still don't get it. I, I, I don't like rap. I don't like hip hop. I don't like Kanye. I don't like anything he's done. I'm not impressed. Um, he strikes me as a complete kook. Um, people say he's got, uh, I don't know, uh, some kind of real mental uh, illness. Uh, uh, I guess he just did Lex Friedman, so I should watch that show. But everything I've seen of him, I'm unimpressed. Yes, he's a rap singer who's not a radical leftist. So what? He doesn't strike me as particularly intellectual or particularly bright or particularly interesting when it comes to his views about anything. He's a mishmash of stuff. Um, you know, he's been unbelievably successful. That success has gone to his head. Um, what did they say? He's bipolar. It could be he's bipolar. I don't know. I feel a little sorry for him. I, I know Don Watkins is a big Kanye fan of, of his music and and said that he understands he's bipolar and, and kind of feel sorry for him because he's bipolar and, and got mental problems. I, I, I really, I, I have no connection to Kanye. So I read his tweets. I see the anti-Semitic, horrible stuff he writes. I see other stuff he says and he writes. And it's just, it's just ridiculous. Um, you know, Cook says in the Lex interview, Kanye straight up said he's a tribalist and encouraged his fans to do what you feel, follow your instincts. That's who Kanye is. He's a intellectual nothing. And, and the fact that he, you know, this is the problem. I said this in one of my events. Who cares what Kanye thinks? He's, he's a, you know, so he does good rap music. Does that mean he knows anything about anything? No. Celebrities are zeros. They're, they're nothing when it comes to anything outside of the thing that they're celebrities for. So I, I never found it interesting what the political views was of, of movie stars or rock stars or, or, uh, or um, you know, what the, or, you know, sports. Like, I don't care what LeBron James thinks about politics. All I care about is how well he plays basketball. So I have no interest in their politics. And it's not that I'm even offended by it if they don't have the same politics as me. It's just, it's irrelevant. It's just a random person from my perspective because, because the fact that they're good at basketball doesn't make them good or anything else at anything else at, at ideas so um kanye typifies a certain attitude that i think exists among rap singers and around in in within that culture which which has elements of anti-semitism in it um associated with with money and bankers and greed and so on uh associate jews with that um i think um, but I think Kanye is more than that. He's, he's just not intellectual. He's just not rational. He's just not a person to be emulated. He's, he's not interesting, right? He's a rap singer. Fine. Like his rap. Great. But, but, you know, I wouldn't listen to a Lex Freedom interview with Kanye West other than to discover that he's a, he's bad, but Cook just gave me the quote I need. And now I'm completely uninterested you know what Kanye has to say. So, um, you know, he's, people, I think, got all excited about Kanye because he came across for a while as not left. But not being left is not a virtue, not left. It's what are you, which determines whether you have virtues or not. And what is he? He's certainly not of any intellectual inclination that is pro-liberty, pro-freedom, pro-reason, pro-egoism. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. 
show your appreciation. You can do that by going to youronbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.